you want to have a winning LinkedIn profile, so you want to make sure that you have all the proper keywords we discussed about earlier that corresponds to your brand. You want to have a great pictures. You can have a great cover as well that corresponds to your brand. Uh, make sure you have a great headline as well. Then you're gonna fill it in. You're gonna write down your resume, your LinkedIn resume going to put in your experience don't forget to add your volunteering experience as well even if you weren't paid for it it's still an experience that the recruiter could be looking for and which will make a huge difference uh, you want to talk about you want to make sure that we can find out the groups you are in that will tell us about what are your interests and you want to put uh, what are your um, key your skills make sure you put the less than 10 uh, so that you can control uh, exactly w what you want people to um, approve and uh, to recommend you for. If you're lucky enough to have worked already and to have some successful uh, experience, maybe you want to ask to your uh, previous um, employers to give you some recommendation. But the recommendation could be also from your teachers, from uh, some uh, students that you work with on a special, very interesting project. Uh, so that, uh, like that, you have a very um, great a great field um, profile and bear in mind here again that if you want to work on an international level you can have LinkedIn enable you to write down your profile on different languages. Regarding the photographs, you need to be consistent. You want to make sure you have the same pic, the same pictures on every social network, at least LinkedIn and Twitter and the, mo the, the one you use the most for your job uh, research so that we can recognize you. Also, make sure you don't use uh, these great pictures that your best uh, friend took from you from the last uh, Greece uh, vacation, even if you had a great town. You want to look very professional. And uh, make sure as well that you have the pic, the pic so your face is about 80% of the uh, square of the um, uh, photograph uh, you're going to use on the social network. Um, if you have dark hair like me sometimes, and if you are, uh, if you dress all in black, we, no, we are not going to recognize what is your hair or what is your um, suit. So make sure as well we can see the difference. Uh, you want to smile, you want to make sure that people are Key are going to be keen on uh, taking this phone and giving you a call so that they can have an interview with you. And you have to think about what will people uh, think about you when you look when they look at your pictures. Obviously, you want to make sure that the content is great and is totally aligned with the job you're looking for. For example, let's say with your experience. But we want to make sure that your tone is great and it does uh, um, give a great message with what you're going to uh, want to uh, tell. Uh, you want to smile as well because it's always better when you want to talk to somebody that you have an interaction uh, with him. You want to make sure we can feel your charisma your aura, whether you're confident, well, because if you're like that and you're scaring, nobody's gonna be want to talk to you. It's like in the real life, you know, you want people that are winning and it's the same when you talk to the camera. Mm -hmm.